Just how big was it for you guys to finally take a drive there late in the fourth and capitalize? Yeah, I mean, our defense has been doing an amazing job all year, and so we took advantage of the opportunity when we needed it most, and um, proud of this team, man. We went down there, and it, it took a while, penalties, and. You know, getting through penalties, them getting penalties, us sustaining drives. Um, you know, we left a lot of yards out there, I believe. But um, I'm stoked that, you know, just uh, getting better each week and uh, fighting through adversity each week. And um, and I think a big thing that we did that we haven't done is capitalizing on those turnovers, and which is I know that it was probably going to be you guys want to talk about. It's Those things are important, especially when they get them that low. To, I mean, don't settle for three, get the, get the six. So that was a really cool. Cool to see us do that. It was it was awesome. Taylor, your your viewpoint on the fake field goal and what uh, what happened or anything? Um, I think yeah, honestly, like uh, my job on that is to you know, get the guy off the edge and and take him to the sideline, and uh, uh, I did that. I think the backer just kind of right before the snap, he plussed over. Um, you know, Brett got hit in the chin. It's, it's, one of those things, man. I heard it and I was like, oh my. I thought he was dead, but he's fine. I talked to him on the sidelines. He was, he was a okay. So, uh, unfortunately, you'll, you'll want to get those. Um, it's unfortunate we didn't get it, and uh, hopefully next time we do get it. Did you ever get surprised by Rabel's aggression in situations like that? I, I mean, I don't know if like, I don't play on like surprise and stuff. They, they call a call, we're gonna do it. Um, you know, it, I mean, the look was there. We we had it. Just I think that back was just a little over the left. I didn't really see the whole picture. I, I was focused on what I had to do. So, yeah, um, it's unfortunate not to get it. But um, you know, you make the call. We just got to execute it. You know, they they have that much trust in us. We got to get it done. So, Kern maybe have to run a little tougher there, like a little sharper cut. <laughs> no, he just keep butting the ball. He's doing all right, Kern. I think Kern's the best player on the team right now, statistically. Right? He's killing it. Might be he's the best player in the league, right? I mean, he's a lot for Pro Bowl. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, he's a stud, man. I mean, I don't want to jinx him, but the guy's a stud. So I like his attitude, too. He's a good guy. Is there any relief, Taylor, knowing that you were able to build upon last week's success and knowing that's kind of been a bugaboo for you guys? Yeah, oh, bugaboo. That's a fun word. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's very good. That's a good job. It goes with the voice. So I think... Yes. So last year, this time we were three and four, right? We went to we go to a bye week. We think we lost the Chargers in London. Went to a bye week, and then we came back. And I think we went like three in a row or something like that. But there, you know, the ebbs and flows in the beginning. You know, it was kind of you know not having a bye week, having to fight through. This is the time of year guys start getting nicked up, bruised up, and so um, the guys fighting, playing with passion. Um, you know, we had an opportunity early in the game to do to do better. If the offense has stayed in better drives and. There's just always stuff to grow on that we have to do a better job. I'll tell you what, my first two plays, dear God, I was terrified. I was like, this is going to be the longest game of my entire life. First one I whiff, and the next one he jumps the snap like no one's business. I was like, <laughs> this guy. So hats off to 5'8", man. Shaq, he did had a first, those first was, couple plays. Was he not offside? He was definitely offside. I was looking at the guy like, are you kidding me? <laughs> so uh, that's, I mean, you got to jump the snap, man. I mean, that's that's a huge part of the game. Uh, like I said, those first two, I, I mean, when I get got, I, I'm willing to admit he got me on those first two, and you know, we just got to do better early and, and keep moving. The way these last two games have unfolded with you guys kind of hanging on and living on the edge, is that what does that say about, I guess, just this team in general? Sounds like an 80s song. Yeah. Um, 90s. Whatever. <laughs> you don't know. You're too old to remember the 90s. Yeah, exactly. 1890. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's good. I don't even remember your question, honestly, but uh, I think the the last two games our defense has um, put us in positions to win. And at the end of the game, they've they've just done an un incredible job. And um, our offense is slowly getting better, but there's like I said, there's so many yards we left on the field. So living on the edge is fun. I mean, you'd hope, you know, we had a lot of opportunities there to make it not as uh, fun to watch. Taylor, uh, sorry if you got to ask this already, just the 90-yard drive. What was the mindset for you guys? No, you had to have it. Well, our mindset on every single drive is to, to score. Um, but, you know, it's just one guy making a play here and there, and we just kept talking about it in the huddle. Anytime there was a break, it was one guy, hey, we like we just need one guy to make a spark. Because when you get through that mud, and it's kind of like three and now, or you're in three, four, five plays, and then uh, don't really go anywhere, stalls. You know, you just need one guy to make a play, and, and we ended up, uh, we got a few of those, man. It was awesome. And Sorry. Go ahead. No, that's a, that, that's a perfect area uh, to end John up. John Smith seems to be one of those guys that made some plays today. Yeah, he was he a stud today. That big for Delaney as he won here, mm -hmm. I, yeah, I think um, you know. I think that that's a it says a lot about Delaney because Delaney is, as a as a leader on this team. He's talking to Johnny all the time. Their lockers are right next to each other. He is um, John has so much athletic ability. He's, he's very very gifted, and to have um, you know somebody like there he is right there, and he's got a voice for radio, man. You hear that thing? <laughs> Sounds like Brian Arakpo. But 
for Delaney to go, hey, maybe do this little thing, those savvy vet things to pick those up early in his career. Um, he's done an incredible job, man, and uh, it was a hurt to lose him last year, and we're happy to have him back.